President Biden says that he expects that all states will be able to vaccinate all adults by May 1st. So at this point in time, you think Ohio will be able to meet that benchmark? Yes, I certainly think we can meet that May 1st uh, date. In fact, I think we'll beat it. So we're, we're going to continue to move. One of the, frankly, the things that we were all talking about uh, in there is when we go down to 40. And, uh, you know, we'll have some announcements in the next few days about where we're going. But uh, what we're trying to do is just to make sure that we don't have a situation where uh, we have one of the providers, one of the health departments or pharmacy or a hospital that's sitting there with vaccines. Uh, that is not what we want. We want to continue to get these out just as quickly as we can. And, um, you know, it's just it's a real testament to the uh, community spirit uh, in Lucas County. You walk in there and you see some you see volunteers, you see uh, members of the health department who have been under siege for a year <laughs> battling this and everybody coming together. And then you're seeing the people that are get, getting vaccinated and uh, by and large, they're very, very happy. So it's a good uh, it's a good feel inside that inside that building. Who else? Governor, what does it mean to you that the, the reaction you got in there was pretty warm and you know loving? How does that feel for you? Well, <laughs> <laughs> just like the legislature. Like a hug. I can say that. It felt great. It felt great. It felt great. This is. Uh, you know, we've been waiting for a year to be able to, um, all of us, to get out more. And, uh, you know, the last week, Fran and I got our shot now almost three weeks ago, two and a half weeks ago, three weeks ago. Uh, and so our second shot. So, you know, we feel comfortable moving around. And I think that, you know, it's a sense of relief. People are happy. Um, you're going to see more people go to restaurants. You're going to see more people, um, you know, we look at, Look at the, um, you know, baseball summer in Toledo, uh, May 4th, you know, kicks off and people are going to feel comfortable going to baseball. Games. They're going to feel comfortable going to county fairs. You know, look, for the, for the next few weeks until we really get into this further, we're going to have to continue to wear a mask. But, um, you know, at some point this summer, we're going to be pretty much, pretty much back to normal. So it's great. It's a great feeling. Anybody else? Governor, how important is a site like this in Northwest Ohio, and even in a, across the state of yeah. Ohio? A site like this is very important. They have the ability to scale up. And when we laid out this plan, and we didn't just sit in Columbus and lay it out, you know, this has been laid out in 88 counties where people have made decisions about where it should be, who should be pulled together, uh, you know, different health systems coming together, working together, uh, it, it is great. But we now have in the state of Ohio, uh, well over uh, close to 1,300 sites today. And we're adding sites, and sometimes we're just gonna add more vaccine to the sites that are here, so that they truly become mass vaccination sites. So we have the ability to scale up statewide as well. And I know some people thought we were kind of crazy. Some states started off with five or six locations and uh, everybody had to go there. And we said, no, that's not the Ohio way. The Ohio way is every county, you're gonna have places you can go in your, in your county. And so we set that system up, but we always knew we would be going, as more vaccine came in, we'd be going to more bigger vaccination sites. We'll keep the small ones, and we just will surge in vaccine to the larger ones. So we have the ability to really surge up. Uh, it looks like the next couple weeks, what the federal government, the Biden administration is telling us is, it's gonna stay fairly steady for the next two weeks, maybe three weeks, then we're gonna see it go up again. And when it goes up again, then you know we're ready to, ready to roll. So feels good, great location, great, great people in there doing a great job. I'm sure you've gotten this question a lot, but what is the summer going to look like? Because the data is constantly evolving. Yeah. So, as of today, what's that? Yeah, look, the, the, look, no one knows for sure. The only dark cloud out there, the only thing we worry about, um, you, you know, is the variant and that this becomes much more contagious. 
and we really don't know how that's going to impact what we're doing, but we know that we're vaccinating now 60, 70, 80,000 people a day in Ohio. So every time you do that, you're taking those people out of the game in the sense of, you know, after after they get that second shot and wait a week or so, you know, they're not going to get it. And, um, you know, we tell people continue to wear masks, but every day that goes by, you get more and more people um, who are safer and it makes it much more difficult for that virus to spread. And so that's that's the good thing. So I, look, I look for the summer. Uh, you know, the president talked about the 4th of July. I think Memorial Day is gonna be pretty good too. And I think we're gonna see parades and I think we're gonna, you know, we're gonna see county fairs this summer. Uh, our, our fairs start in Ohio in, in June, go all the way through the summer into the fall. So life is gonna get back to normal. We're gonna see festivals. And for a while, when you go to those things, you're going to have to wear a mask. But after a while, uh, we're going to be back pretty much to normal. So I'm very, I'm very optimistic. Okay, anybody? All right. Thanks, everybody.